Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Carl is on it. So today I've got myself a pair of two gloss black kidney grills and these essentially like the M2 style ones. So let me just walk you through. So what I'm going to do is essentially change these chrome kidneys grills and replace them with two gloss black ones. Now these they generally do look nice as they are already as standard but I do prefer the sort of blacked out look. So what I'm going to do is, I've got this box here, I'm going to open it up and um, go from there, so let's go. Right, let's have a look inside, what's inside this box? Ooh, nice packaging here. with one hand and we got ourselves a nice pair of trying to do this with one hand guys bear with me how gorgeous does that look that just looks absolutely amazing look how nice and shiny that is amazing now look at it now you can, if you can see the difference now these are like the singular ones and these ones are like the twin blade ones and that's essentially what the M2 has so I'm just taking sort of inspiration of the M2 design and just implement it in this car just gives a nice cleaner newer more sort of modern look it's absolutely nice so let's go right so first off I'm gonna do is pop the hood which is usually it's at this side but this time it's now on this side so latch this side here there we go next is a latch under here just straight underneath the BMW badge pull that up and lifts itself up with its gas struts which is nice now what I'm going to need to do is take out these bolts here um, and then pretty much reach my hand underneath here and wiggle through and unclip one of the clips in between here so I'll show you that I'll try and show you that as soon as I mount the camera in here to start the unscrewing let's go right so what we need to do is take this bolt here that bolt there that bolt there that bolt there also just to mention as well I'm using a T30 um, head for this this one's got adapter so I can use all different types of heads on this and if your bolts are rusted, just use some like WD-40 as well. That just loosen the bolt. So yeah, I'm just using. Also remove the weather strip. See, to remove your weather strip, you basically just pull it like that. Just be sort of careful you don't sort of damage anything. Just do that, and then it just releases the tail like that. It just pulls out like that. There we go. That's it. It will give me a bit more leverage to sort of wiggle the bonnet. So, so it's now free to move now, and you basically just pop that out a bit. The tail just pops out like that. Right, in order to take the kidney grill out, there's actually six tabs, but three main ones to take out are at the top, so I'll try and show you. Just loosen that bit, there we go. So there's one, virtually, right over there. I'll just get the um, flathead screwdriver to show you. It's one there, one there. Another one is, I'm trying to do this with like one hand, hold the camera sort of thing. But anyway, I'll try now. Right. It's one over there as well. there as well and the last one from the top is one over one over here there we go just at that corner there so it'll be the same thing for the other side as well so I'm just gonna push them there's a little tab you basically just push it with a flathead screwdriver and then you basically just push it out and it will come out so 
Let's get that done now. Right, the hardest part was actually trying to get the bottom pit, the bottom bits out. Now with the bottom bits, you essentially have to get your flathead screwdriver and there's a second part here on it. Just trying to get my thing in there. there go. So what you need to do is get it onto this point here, get it onto that edge, and then you basically just push it down. As you push it down, it will just come, it will just come loose and then you'll be able to pop it out. So you just do that for both sides of the bottom. Clean that up first and then replace it with the new M2 grill. Right, so I gave the area a bit of a clean now. So all I'm going to do now is virtually pop this on. And I think I could do that pretty much with one hand. Let me just give it a try and see. Clips go back into the same place. And just push right in. Virtually perfect fit. It's virtually a perfect fit, guys. There we go. How nice, how nice does that look already? Like, just looking at that. Imagine having like black wheels as well, that, that was just so nice. Anyway, time to do the next side. Right, so that one's off as well. Need to give that area a bit of a clean and then put the um, black kidney grill on. So, also guys, just to mention, I'm gonna be selling these kidney grills. They're still in pretty much like new condition, really. Um, so, if you want them before they're gone, send me a message, comment below, and let me know if you want them. Um, they're gonna be put up online for sale, so do let me know as quick as possible so that you can grab yourself some OEM kidney grills. Anyway guys, time to finish the video off and put the last bit on. Let's go. There we have it all done. So now what I'm gonna do is got some screws in my hands here. I'm gonna put these screws back in place. One, two, three, and number four. Next, I'm gonna do the weather strip up. So from here, just basically just push it down like that. It just comes back on. That. There we go. For the other side as well. That's it. Again, get my use a T30 screw. Screw these boys back in. Right, so let's close this bonnet and you guys find our shoulder what it looks like. Right, have a look at that. Doesn't that just look absolutely amazing now? I think 
the black and black really sets it off just by these small little mud here for kidney grills really just sets the car off so well and then there's my brother's car over there it's five series he's done quite a bit to his car as well so yeah but anyway guys if you enjoyed the video if it was helpful um, hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already um, thank you so much guys again for watching I'm also trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2018 so that would be absolutely amazing guys if you could help me out with that goal but again guys thank you so much for being there so much for spending time watching these videos and I'll see you again soon peace